Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are going to make an arrangement from our website. So the arrangement is called A Little Sunshine and it is made in one of our rosy posy vases. Just a pretty glass vase with a really flat bottom, which is what I love the most about this arrangement or this container. I have filled it with fresh water and a little bit of floral food so that it is ready to feed our flowers. I'm gonna start out grabbing my floral knife. So this is just a paring knife. I actually purchased it on Amazon. I love it because it's a folded knife and it'll tuck right in your pocket so you can travel with it. I'm gonna start out with some white hydrangeas. So this arrangement is mostly whites and yellows, a touch of green, and I'm going to add a hint of of a peach color today. Um, I am going to go ahead and pull my foliage off of my flower and I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. Taking my floral knife, I'm going to cut that hydrangea at an angle, that stem, and I'm going to dip it in quick dip. Quick dip is a hydrating solution that helps to keep that flower hydrated. And then I'm going to tuck it right on the lip of this vase. I'm going to take a second one. Next, what we're going to do is add a little bit of, it's called lemon stock, but for me, it looks so much like butter. So my mind wants to call it butter, but it's a lemon stock. So it's a slightly um, yellow colored um, stock. I am going to take each stem, remove any of the foliage that might fall below that water line. And what happens is if that foliage hits the water, it aids in the growth of bacteria. So go ahead and remove the, the foliage if it might fall, and then remove any of the blooms that look as if they're wilty. So there are our three stems of stock tucked in. Next, we're going to come in with some beautiful yellow roses. Now, I am not exactly sure the name of this variety. It does have a little bit of a peach tint to the tip of the rose. I'm gonna take a florist wire and press it into the um, calyx of the rose. My mind just went blank. Um, I just took, I just pierced that calyx and then wrapped that wire all the way around that stem. Now, you can always cut your wire shorter, and for this rose, I really should, so I will do that for the next um, two stems. I took that and cut that stem at an angle, and I'm tucking that rose right down into that hydrangea. I like to use a hydrangea as a grid. Um, and often I have people fuss at me and say, Monty, you're covering up the whole hydrangea. And I get it, but I like to use it as more of a grid when using them instead of having them such a large, large focal flower. Because to me, a hydrangea can really take over. It do, You don't get, I feel like the arrangement, if you use it as your focal flower in a smaller arrangement, it really takes away from the beauty of the arrangement. But if I use it as a grid, it helps. You still see the hydrangea, but it's not the main focus. Okay, next I'm gonna take my third little rose. Be sure to take your floral knife and strip all those thorns off just so that they don't bite. Let me show you, I'm gonna use some snips and I'm going to cut this wire in half. Now I don't have to worry about that wire being in the way when I go to cut that stem if you use just a shorter piece. Go ahead and remove any of the leaf petals that don't look pretty and any of the leaves if they don't look pretty you can remove those too. Here's our roses. Next we're going to come in with some Solidago Aster. So I love Solidago. Um, I just love that it's yellow. I'm a yellow girl. We use a lot of Solidago at our flower shop. It, um, it's a very hardy um, foliage or filler flower, not foliage. And it stays pretty for a long period of time. And it really works real well with most arrangements. Now, 
it tints really well too. So if you ever needed it like an autumn or a fall color, you can paint it a color. Um, we have taken it and spray painted it maroon um, to give us a little autumn color. We've even hit it with some orange, but it will take color very well. All right, I have one stem of fall mums. Um, this arrangement had buttons in the picture, so we're gonna use these mums. I didn't have many of them, so we're just going to use this one and kind of nestle it down. And then I have these beautiful anemones. So I'm removing any of the stems that have broken heads, and I'm just going to nestle that pretty yellow mom right down in there. I did pull off some of these little flowers, and I'm just tucking those deep down into that arrangement, just kind of into that little hydrangea. And that is a stitch and goodness. Next, we're going to come in with these anemones. So see how they're um, a really pretty peachy yellow color? I thought that they would work really well because of the peach on the tips of the yellow roses here. So I'm just going to take my anemones. I'm going to leave that stem a little long and just kind of give this a little whimsy with these anemones. Leave them a little longer and kind of poking out at the top. They are so sweet and so pretty and so interesting. I love their little dark centers tucked in. To finish off this little summery arrangement, we're going to add a little bit of willow eucalyptus. Um, so I'm just going to take that uke and I'm going to break it into smaller pieces and nestle it just kind of all the way around in this arrangement. I like to kind of lift up that hydrangea and just tuck that eucalyptus all the way around. All right, so this is a very simple, compact arrangement. The flowers that we used were two white hydrangeas. I used three stems of yellow roses, three stems of the lemon stock. I used four stems of solid ego one stem of fall mums or a chrysanthemum, cushion mum. I used three stems of anemones and a couple stems of the eucalyptus. And there is our very simple, very pretty, bright, sunshiny arrangement. Guys, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we do things here at Flowers by the Bunch, you can always ask. We'd love to answer your questions. Um, be sure if you have not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'll hit that bell, it'll give you notifications for when we have a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks guys, we'll see you real soon.